Innovative Women's Care is all about serving the women of Southern Nevada when it comes to their OBGYN needs. Yes, joining us now is board certified OBGYN and owner of Innovative Women's Care, Dr. Marguerite Brathwaite, to discuss how women can stay up to date with their health care in the new year. Good morning. Hey. Welcome hey. back. Happy New Year, Jessica. Hi, nice to meet you, Elliot. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> now, we, we really want to know, I mean, you've got an incredible facility, but talk to us about the importance of women's care and, and visiting annually. Yes, I want to come by to tell everybody to make sure it's a new year to start to check on yourselves and make sure you check on your health care. You know, everybody over 21 should be coming to your OBGYN to get your annual exam, which includes a breast exam, pelvic exam. Some people may need mammograms and bone density scans, you know, and rule out infections and things. What are the differences based on women's ages as to how their, their visit is to you and what should be included within that visit? Exactly, because um, you don't necessarily need a pap smear until you're 21, but even under 21, you may want to see your OBGYN to, if you're sexually active, to talk about birth control, get checked for sexually transmitted diseases. And if you're not sexually active, you might want to just have irregular, you may have irregular periods and you want to talk about um, regulating your cycles, um, premenstrual syndrome, how to how, handle your emotions during your cycle. And if you're older, like some people think when you're in your 60s that you may not need to come to an OBGYN, but you, you do. You still need to get a breast exam, you still need to have a pelvic exam. No, ovarian cancer is very hard to detect, so you need a pelvic exam to make sure you don't feel any masses. And so what ages do you service at your facility? So we see people of all ages, even adolescents, and sometimes people just need to talk and learn about their bodies. So they can come down and, you know, and we can just talk to them over whatever concerns they have. So we see anybody as, you know, as a preteen, teenager, all the way to menopause, you know. Talking about about that about that menopausal age, what what should women be doing, and what should they, you know, why should they be keeping up keeping up regularly post menopause, coming to make their visit with the, you know, the OBG bill. Uh, OBGYN, I'm sorry. Well, it's important to get your annual um, mammograms, you know, breast cancer. One out of every eight women can get breast cancer. We can talk about hormone replacement, you know, the changes that you feel when you go into menopause, you know, and we can talk about your bone health. When you're in menopause, you lose 8% of bone density a year. So, you know, moderate um, exercising helps with your bone density as well as calcium vitamin D. But you still need to be checked, and even if you didn't had a hysterectomy, you still need to be checked because we look at the vagina and make sure there's no lesions or you can get melanoma down there. So people need to come and see the gynecologist every year regardless. That's a really important point because I think a lot of us, you know, over the years as, as medicine involves, um, as our care involves, you know, we've been told you've got to go every year, then it changed to every other year. Right. So I think it's important, as you're saying, that regardless, right, you, you right. need to come in. You, you come once a year regardless. You might not get a pat smear every year. You know, you can get a pat smear every three years depending, but you still need to have, you know, uh, breast exam, pelvic exam, check for infections. Everybody under 26 gets checked for infections because, you know, you get an incidence of gonorrhea and chlamydia can scar your fallopian tubes and cause infertility 25% of the time. We're, we're in a brand new year. We're still in January, uh, although we don't say Happy New Year anymore because mm. we're past that. Oh, okay. What's, <laughs> what's, what's, what's it, what is it important for, for women to, to think about and consider health-wise other aspects of their, you know, of their, their medical well-being and wellness at the start of a year moving forward? Well, you should come and see your OBGYN, you should see your primary care doctor, you know, they can check your thyroid and check your um, overall health. And as an OBGYN, we'll follow up on the gynecology part, your breast exams and mammograms. You know, your diet has a lot to do with how, how you're doing. People wonder why they can't keep getting recurrent yeast infections, sugar and carbs, you know. Um, your, your calcium and vitamin D to protect your bone health. Exercise is important to help with, you know, your catecholamines, how you feel better, help with your bone density, help with your moods, you know, and, um, and menopause. So. Dr. Brathwaite, it's always a pleasure to speak with you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Well, thank you guys for having me and um, hope to see you guys again next month. Yes. Definitely. For more information about how you can schedule an appointment, head to InnovativeWomensCare.com. Their address is also right there on your screen.